what I'll do now, um, we've talked about what the taxonomy is and what the instance is and shown how we can create these manually. What I'd like to do is just to give you an idea of some tools that we can provide to, to simplify this, particularly for people submitting data. What we have here, we actually have here our um, sheet mapping tool, which allows people to define a mapping between uh, an Excel spreadsheet and um, a taxonomy. Basically what we found is most accountants at some stage like to actually have the, uh, the data for review as Excel. Even if they're using SAP or some smaller system, they extract out from their trial balance, from their income statement on the SAP, and they view it in Excel. So here we have a, on the left-hand side, this is basically the contents of an Excel file. When I opened this sheet mapping designer, I told it to go to the um, income statement, the blank one, and create uh, and drag it into this tool. I then said, okay, show me the, um, the taxonomy for this in the other side. Um, what I've done here, I've actually pre-populated this. Um, uh, so, sorry, this one here I'll just add. And you'll see that we've got the, the various um, elements on the right-hand side, for instance, interest income and interest income over here. What we've actually got is the ability in this tool to do what we call auto mapping, and we can then select, okay, what region do we want to select? All right, we want to select this one here because the names are all the same. And what values do we want? Okay, we want these ones here. And we say, okay, finish. And you'll see that straight away, uh, names have been entered into these um, cells in the Excel spreadsheet. This is just a mapping. It's not now the physical spreadsheet, but it's automatically picked up the names from these four five elements on the right-hand side. We can also manually do this process. Um, and just to show you which context do we need, we have the ability to set a default context and then just drag, say, cost of sales over to cost of sales over here. I can save that, um, that mapping and then use it to actually create my, um, my instance document from a live spreadsheet. As they say, let's look at one I've already got. I'll just um, bring one in. And you'll see here, this is our sheet instance creator, and when I open it up, it's got this select form, and I can say annual reports, okay? So it is now loaded the annual reports. This is no longer the Excel file. This is actually created using that mapping. So I can then go through. I can manually uh, add entries in here, but I know I've already got it in my Excel spreadsheet. So I can simply do an import from Excel. Add file. Okay, let's go down to uh, an income statement here. And I say, yep, okay, this is the Excel file. It's loaded it. And you can see that the data has been populated in there. And we've got current year and previous year in this case. And all the values are there. The next thing that most accountants want to do is basically just to view that information to make sure that, okay, I know it's right in Excel. I can see it here. Let me just see what it really does look like. So we've got a tool uh, with a little report wizard, and I can say report all sheets. All I have to do is to give it a uh, directory and say, okay, okay. So this is very similar but to, to the example I showed you in some of the slides. And you can see here that all the facts are there. So it is now easy. We can now submit that document through to the, the SEC.